What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection, lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're Hello everybody, welcome to Shatter Your Dreams Thank you so much for watching the last episode, those of you who did And for your lovely comments Today, Scarlett and I are just about to go off to the market to go and pick up our new chicken, so that's really great. But in the meantime, let me tell you about what's going on in this episode. So, as you remember from last week, we literally just arrived at the chateau and all the boxes were piled up really, really high in what is now the billiard room. So, that was a bit crazy. So, we're going on from there when we're looking back into the next part of the adventure, which involves a lot of pressure washing, basically. Um, and then after that, we're going to have a little snippet of French culture again. And then this week, rather than a visit, what I'm going to do is show you some of the renovation work we've been doing here. The castle is called Chateau de la Bataille after a battle. There have been a number of battles here over the years. The castle's been here since the 11th century and was involved in the 100 Years' War. But one of the more recent battles that was here was actually um, when the Duke of Wellington's troops came through the area. And... Um, they won the castle, but they did quite a lot of damage in the meantime. So uh, we are in the process of rebuilding one of those walls. So we'll show you that. And in addition to that, we also had Selma here, as I mentioned in the last episode, doing a tango night and a sal uh, salsa night, which was really good fun. So there's just um, a little bit of that, not very much, but you can see that on his channel. And also, sorry, what else we got going on this week? Oh, well, the usual animal craziness, really. So, without further ado, I hope you enjoy the episode. And, uh, Scott and I better go on to get those chickens. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. newly purchased from a little down the road and uh, I just thought I'd give you an idea of what we're up against here with <laughs> some of the cleaning. Um, okay so here is the kitchen, gorgeous ancient fireplaces you can see, equally ancient cooking things which we're trying to organise, a little shop. Uh, so we've got beautiful window and just to give us an idea of what we're up against dirt wise. This is a wall. Okay, I have my cleaning product. Look at this. That's pretty amazing to actually write the name on it. Look at that. Awesome. And this is the breakfast room that will be here. Okay, so I'm just going to video now so we can all see what it's like. But it's gorgeous because it goes out onto the yard. There we go. So it really is a bit like the land that time forgot here at the moment. It's really rather magical. everyone what I really wanted to make sure was answer any questions anybody had about our life here how it works or the castle or anything else so um, thank you very much for your comments I know some of you guys have sent me them through your Facebook page 
uh, or TikTok or Instagram via messages. So thanks very much for that. And also obviously on on the page itself on YouTube. So thank you. Uh, first off, yes, absolutely, Mac Hallett one. We know we are really, really lucky to be here. And so even with the challenges that happen from time to time that you guys will see, it's still so worthwhile, you know, looking at the kids and how much they love it and just everything else. It's, it's challenging, but it's brilliant fun. So thank you very much. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. And Beth, yes, the removal boxes. It was a bit of a nightmare. No, we didn't get a refund at all. When we rang them, they said that, well, I said to them, Ah, oh, I assume you've had to leave in a hurry and we'll be seeing you in the next couple of days to put them in the rooms. And they informed me, no, um, they weren't really sure what had happened. So they spoke to the person who delivered the boxes and there was some confusion for some reason. They said that I'd said to put them just in one place, which clearly I hadn't. So I said, great, when can you come back and fix it? And they gave me a date three and a half weeks from the date that they'd uh, sorry, excuse me, three and a half weeks from the day that I called them. So I said, great, that's fine. And in the meantime, we had a lovely guy, George, who came along in August and he did, uh, you know, it was a real help with some of the unpacking that we hadn't yet done. And uh, yeah, they, they came. It was also actually towards the end of August and things got a little bit better. But it was a bit strange. It was a bit like camping, but brilliant fun absolutely fine so so no refund but they did come back after three and a half weeks to put things in the right place so that was much better and then I've had another question about uh, not so much about the size but about whether the castle's renovated or not so it's a big place and, and in French estate agency terms what they do is they they when they give you the information they'll tell you potentially how much renovated space there is so the castle is partially renovated so new electrics new sewage um what else water so on and so forth which is great and for example the main living rooms if you like in the chateau are done so we've got beautiful silk on the walls here and it's really gorgeous everything needs a really good scrub frankly but we do definitely have parts of the castle that we didn't even know existed bedrooms that we didn't know existed all sorts of other things which is really exciting but it's just a bit of a bigger job than we thought so yes so partially renovated and i think that was about it so far so any other questions you guys have got just let me know and i'll try and answer them if i can and aside from that i hope you enjoyed the rest of the episode we've got muriel up next our french professor who i think is going to talk to us about uh, when you go into a shop and when you want to just so much for coming and joining us today and I'm sorry I was a little bit late for my lesson so um, smack wrist for me um, but what I wanted to ask you if it's okay is something to do with shopping or more specifically window shopping when you come to France so one of the things I've noticed is I see a cute little shop and I want to go in there but I just want to have a look I don't know if I want to buy anything so I'm a little bit embarrassed to say oh I'm only looking and when I come through the door they ask me all these questions and obviously it's a lot better now because I've been having lessons with you and I understand but I just thought maybe it would be really helpful for people if that was okay. So as I walk through the door, what is somebody likely to say to me and what does it mean, if you can well, tell me? Well, they're likely to say, um, can I help you? And what is that? Est-ce que je peux vous aider? N'hésitez pas. Don't hesitate. Est-ce que vous cherchez quelque chose en particulier? Are you looking for something particular? And they're probably going to to ask you a lot of questions. So the easier thing to do is just to reply, uh, Merci, je regarde, c'est tout, je vous remercie. And that's all you need to say. So, je regarde. Je regarde, voilà, je regarde, merci. Don't, don't, of, of course, don't forget to say merci. And just say, je regarde, merci. And if they carry on saying something else, such as, um, Je suis là, si vous avez besoin, just say, oui, merci. You know, I'll be here if you need something. So, oh, merci. Thank you. Just with merci. <laughs> Je regarde. You can get away with it. <laughs> thank you so much. That's so helpful. And then the other thing, just one other thing I wanted to ask you is I read somewhere, and I don't know if this is correct, but it is polite to, when you go into a shop or something, always say bonjour to somebody. Oh, yes, of yeah. course. Of course. You go in and they will say bonjour, madame, and you say bonjour. Uh, and of course. Mm -hmm. And before you ask for something in a shop as well, I understand yes, you're meant you to say bonjour. Yes, you do say bonjour, bonjour madame, ou bonjour. Uh, je voudrais, I would like, 
well, if you want something, or just hand you know the object or whatever you have bought. That's really helpful. Say, uh, voilà, je voudrais. Voilà, je voudrais ceci. I would like this. Je voudrais ceci. And ceci will go for anything. Je voudrais ceci. It could be a dress. It could be a, a jewel. It could be. A, oh, thank goodness! Like thank you so much. You've sorted out my shocking <laughs> anxiety, and I hope it's it has my pleasure. <laughs> my pleasure. And thank I you. will say au revoir, Emma. Ah, merci. Au revoir, Muriel. <laughs> à bientôt. <laughs> à bientôt. So is it easier just to chop bits off the big ones and then just slide them in? Sometimes. It's, uh, it's a bit of a puzzle really. Technically this should be a stone for every gap. Amazing. It looks amazing. Beans is ably helping. It's awesome. <laughs> also realized that when he was digging things up that basically the wall was blasted by Wellington's troops in one direction and it was blasted in the other direction by whoever was defending the castle so that's why we have big bits of wall sort of flung around the place that he then dug up um, in order to build the wall so we're putting it all back again <laughs> but as you can imagine it's taking a bit of time and my goodness some of those rocks are seriously heavy so this is just one of those rocks that we were talking about and I'll show you some more. Not all of the rocks were actually from this courtyard area. So this one here, this one here, excuse the fingers, I've been doing gardening and nettle pulling. And this one here and this one here, I found outside the front and they're actually charred and blackened stones. There's a big pile of them, um, probably some from an original battle or something. They're actually fire damaged. It's really quite interesting. At least I think it is. And then you're just going to try and get that edge flush and worry about the yeah i'll, I'll sort that bit out bit. Well, we'll just get it on again yeah go go guys there we go on. oh it's slightly lighter just now fingers okay over there it's amazing At least we got the sunshine. <laughs> so is this one wetter than the one you used for the rocks, Adam, or is it the same? Uh, slightly. You, sort of, you start off with quite dry at the bottom because you want it to go off quick and then as you go, you can use a wetter and wetter mix because this one is all about getting it level, so you can use it fairly wet. Ah, thank you. There we go. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Lift this end a bit so I can yes. just shove a little bit more. <laughs> Your lovely yoga flip flops. <laughs> yeah. Health and safety. <laughs> Here's the wall that Adam rebuilt. You can clearly see the line. So I need to yogurt that up and get it matching in. So also replace these stones on the top that were on the floor. They're incredibly heavy. One of them 
all three, Salma, Ross and Adam had to lift up together. It's pretty impressive. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. Thanks for coming with me. Hey, thank you.